If a man should be able to assent to this doctrine as he ought, that we are all sprung from God in an especial manner, and that God is the Father of both men and of gods, I suppose that he would never have any ignoble or mean thoughts about himself. But if Caesar, the emperor, should adopt you, no one could endure your arrogance. And if you know that you are the son of Zeus, will you not be elated? Yet we do not so. But since these two things are mingled in the generations of man, body in common with the animals, and reason and intelligence in common with the gods, many incline to this kinship, which is miserable and mortal, and some few to that which is divine and happy. Since then it is of necessity that every man uses everything according to the opinion which he has about it, those the few who think that they are formed for fidelity and modesty and a sure use of appearances have no mean or ignoble thoughts about themselves. But with the many it is quite the contrary. For they say, What am I? A poor, miserable man with my wretched bit of flesh. Wretched indeed, but you possess something better than your bit of flesh. Why then do you neglect that which is better, and why do you attach yourself to this? Through this kinship with the flesh, some of us, inclining to it, become like wolves, faithless and treacherous and mischievous. Some become like lions, savage and bestial and untamed. But the greater part of us become foxes, and other worse animals. For what else is a slanderer and a malignant man than a fox, or some other more wretched and meaner animal? See then, and take care that you do not become some one of these miserable things.